can see I got my bike back up. It's running a little sluggish just because I didn't really warm it up. Also, I have that old gas in here. I'm just trying to burn it out. Um, so anyway, I had a I had a whole motor vlog going of me first running it. I ran this yesterday. I picked up Janine, went to Walmart. Uh, I think we went to Walmart. I don't remember where we went. Oh, I was supposed to turn down there, I think. Anyway, so today, a mother got fixed. So I'm actually on the way to one of Janine's friends. She got her cat neutered as well. And I'm really excited about this because Amado was getting irritating as hell. And he's just all day, every day, all day, all night, meowing, like yelling, like fucking yelling. I know cats do that even when they are neutered, but I'm thinking it has something to do with his hormones. Damn, that sucks. Because some days he'll be fine, and then another day, most of the time, most days, I should say, he's just non-stop yelling, like, And he changes pitches and does weird shit like that. It's just irritating. <laughs> We're going, like, really slow. So, yeah, the bike's running sluggish. I mean, it runs. I got it all registered yesterday. It was a pain in the ass yesterday. <laughs> I had to go to my insurance, get it registered, or get it reinstated, whatever. And then I went to the DMV, which wasn't too bad. The DMV out here only takes like 30 minutes max if you wait. This is really weird because I'm not really like, I'm done with carbureted vehicles just because this is going to be the last carbureted vehicle I'm going to be using. But see how it's sluggishly going right now? If I open it, just kick in which I don't I'm thinking maybe it's a vacuum leak now that I think about it because if I if I wait too long like this and then we're in traffic and shit and then I go sometimes it's just sometimes if it's long traffic like we're waiting there and I'm not moving at all sometimes it will not want to go for some reason and I'll give it gas and then I'll start to die just about so I gotta keep it kinda low, but not completely zero throttle. I could probably keep it zero throttle, but it helps it if I give it a little bit of throttle. friend to get home or Janine's friend's kid we dropped them off this morning Amado and her friend's cat and no dumping <laughs> and so I guess they're done now I'm just waiting for her friend just kid and we're gonna go pick him up I don't know what it is I'm also thinking that maybe the carbs need to be synced better. I bench sunk them, but it's just really a pain in the ass to get these, to get to the screws to actually sync it. They position the screws stupid on this bike for some reason. I don't know why. They're positioned really stupid. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I mean, I could buy brand new carbs. I don't really need it. I don't know if there's a way to sync them not being on the bike somehow. I don't know. Oh, it's weird too. Like, I'll smell gas, like, pretty strong, like it's um, running rich. That's so why I'm like, I don't really know if it's a vacuum leak or what. Well, I'm also thinking it's not a vacuum leak just because I would think that you'd have problems on the freeway if it were a vacuum leak. But I do notice that. Well, there's no, there's no, um, it's not burning oil or anything. It smells very flammable though, so I think I'm probably running rich maybe, I don't know. I'm kind of giving up on this <laughs> with the sinking. 
That's why I, I wish I could just convert this to a fuel injected, but I have no idea how to do all that. I'd like to keep this bike, but I just, it's out of my knowledge how to, how to completely fix the weird problems. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go wait. Can't wait for Amado to finally, well, to finally be neutered. He's gonna be neutered. Take him home. Hopefully he'll settle down. He'll, like, it's annoying too because he'll go use the litter box, but then, like, spray the freaking, the back of the litter box. He, like, sprays it. I'm like, what the hell? It stinks up the damn room. Yeah, it's really weird. I'm, I mean, I don't know what else to do. It runs good. It's just if I idle it for a while. If I do, like, city driving, basically, like, where I'm but like long stops and shit. Then it starts acting up. Like, maybe, I don't know, let me see. No, it seems to be okay now. I don't know, it's really random. I don't, I really don't, like, I mean, it's running fine right now. It's really weird, because it's just random. And I thought it was because of the cold, but it wasn't. Because, well, it, it happened last night, again, well, twice last night, we were driving, we hit a stoplight, or we were getting right off the freeway, we got behind this stupid semi going, like, really slow, and so, oh, that dude has some bikes, and then another time when we were at another stoplight, so I don't know what the hell the deal is. I know it's probably a really easy fix, but I just don't know what it is. And I'm actually kind of tempted to take it to a mechanic, which I, which I never do. I always do the shit myself. But it's only if I'm, I'm planning on keeping it. I don't really know if I am. Yeah, there's slight hesitation. Like I can fully open it, and it won't. Uh, it won't it won't right away start going it's kind of weird I'll, I'll full open it when I turn around yeah I'll fully open it right now it's fully open right now that's what I'm thinking some I don't know what it is filter maybe it's not getting enough airflow maybe it's not getting enough airflow or something like I don't really know maybe it's a combination but I don't know I don't know so anyway just wanted to give a cool update. I got this running. It's all legal. Got the tires on. Tires are nice. Pirellis. So, check you guys later.